instead of waiting for 50 years, it has been reduced to 36 years. But it's a one-off access. The second part of the law that was signed by our president talks about the revision of the penalty rate for delayed contributions from 20% to 10%. This law will apply to new penalties incurred after the coming into effect of the law. So what we are saying basically is we are moving from a 20% penalty on delayed contribution to 10%. Up to the time the law comes in, up to the time the law comes into effect, the old penalty rate of 20% applies to all historical uh, uh, occasions or events when the, the contributions were paid on time. Now that the law has been signed, going forward, any default, the penalty rate will be charged at 10%. The law further makes a provision for waiver of penalties on conditions that the minister, that's the minister of, of labor and social security, may by statutory instrument prescribe. The conditions and eligibility for the waiver will be availed as soon as the regulations are passed. But suffice to say, work is very advanced. They have already been drafted. And just ready to be passed into law. Now let me go back a bit to the first item, which is ZNPF. So the revision of the minimum age limit required to access ZNPF benefits entails that all members that contributed to Zambia National Provident Fund between 1966 and 2000, but have not yet made a claim, can now claim their benefits without waiting to reach the retirement age of 50. 